So sweet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she almost fell. Very tight. Oh man. Not a good idea. Oh. Oh no. You're gonna fall in that water, and it's like flesh-eating bacteria. <laughs> I dare you to jump in the hat. <laughs> oh man. Oh, cold. Freezing. I should have rolled my uh oh my leggings up. This is on this is on my phone, by the way, guys. If y'all cared. I'm the passenger. Ian's the Ian's the passenger of this car. If y'all wanted to know that too, and Aaron is the driver of this car, and I'm in the back seat. If y'all wanted to know the situation, damn, that's kind of a nice car. How do you feel about that? For the Mitsubishi. The Mitsubishi. They said they're in the back. All right. Oh my. What the? I'm stressed. What? What is that thing on your leg? I don't Other way. <laughs> oh, my. It's probably a bruise. I just don't know how I got it. <laughs> like every fucking girl. Yeah. She's like, I got this bruise yesterday. I, I have no idea where I got I it. I have no idea what. I and then tomorrow she's gonna be like, I don't know what I ran into. By the way, guys, oh. dog mom Aaron is very, very scary. Watch out. That's my yeah, boyfriend. Wait. Husband? Oh, yeah. We have a kid together. This is a bit of an Aaron's We're gonna make her put this in her. I gotta fucking fart so bad, but I'm afraid this girl's gonna hear it. I'm afraid she's gonna hear it. Should I still rip ass? Alright, I just let it out. That shit was a wet one, but the crabs at the front desk left, so she doesn't have this. Oh man, head is pungent. Awen? What do you have to say? I'm shaking. Hey, bud. No. You Oh man, he is he is really really chill from the last time. He just got his balls chopped off for any of y'all that are wondering. Yeah. Asher's next. Oh, what the? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think he you knows. He looks like the lamp from the Pixar. Yeah, he does. Oh gosh. <laughs> hey bud, what you doing? So, it's... I guess it's day one having the dog and 
he's not having a good time. And I couldn't get him to get in his crate, so Ian's gonna watch him because I have to go get my hair done. Yes, ma'am. I feel horrible. I wish they didn't send him home like this. Y'all saw how he walked out of the clinic. Can you say hi? Thank you. Oh my goodness. I think we just picked a name. Should that be his name? I think we just picked his name. I think it's gonna be Houston. So. Yep. Oh, it's raining too. I don't like this. The dog has been um, at my place with Ian. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing, sweetie? Come here. Oh, sweet boy. You're so pretty. You know? You're so pretty. Well, anyways, this vlog has been literally all over the place. That's how this past week has been, is all over the place. <laughs> but Houston is finally feeling a little more settled in, I think. Um, he's calming down. It is his second full day home. It's technically two and a half days since he came home. Um, and yeah, hopefully his cone can come off tomorrow and then I can take some pictures with him and actually post um, some cute pictures of him. And there is Ian. Hey, brother. Someone's feeling so much better, on not you? He's feeling better. Yeah. He's been good. He looks ridiculous. Okay, well, anyways, Ian's gone now. Um, and isn't this set so cute? It's from Bone Tea. You sent it to me. I really like it. Um, but yeah, I've been freaking exhausted <laughs> the past couple of days uh, It's been a lot dealing with a dog who is the size of Houston oh, And there he goes running into everything. Um, yeah, he's a year old and he is already 62 pounds He is gonna be a big boy and he's like very thin and skinny But he's strong and he's big so dealing with him with a cone is a lot harder than dealing with a puppy who just got fixed. So it's been a lot, um, but it's been fun and he's a really good dog and I'm very, very excited that I got him. Um, earlier in this vlog, you probably saw, I went hiking this past weekend at Paternala's, Paterna, I don't know how you say it, um, a state park in Texas. It's a couple hours away from where I live here in Houston. Went hiking there and stayed overnight at like a little cabin Airbnb and it was a lot of fun. And I was really worried because I decided the day that we were leaving um, that I did want to adopt him. And I was so scared that I was gonna get back and he was gonna be gone. So I said a prayer like, God, if this is the dog for me, please have him be there when I get back and like, make it meant to be and if it's not the dog for me don't let it happen basically um and he was still there when i got back so we stopped um on our way back into town adopted him <clears throat> sorry i also sound sick right now my throat is killing me i don't know why but yeah so we adopted him on the way back into town and went in just signed the papers he didn't come home that day because they had to schedule his surgery for the next day I have missed my dog at home a lot and it was really hard for me to decide that I wanted to go ahead and adopt another dog even though I knew I wanted one um, just because my dog at home was my first dog I ever had he's currently four about four and a half um, he's a lab Siberian Husky mix so he's also got the Siberian Husky in him just like Houston does um, but me and him I mean, I swear that dog is my soulmate, um, but when I moved, I had to leave him at home with my dad because my dad has not been alone um, for a long time. My parents got divorced when I was in high school, so when I moved out, that meant my dad was going to be alone, and 
I just couldn't do that to him. And so the dog is at home with my dad. Um, I miss him a lot. I still miss him. But he still holds a very special place in my heart. And Houston definitely cannot replace him. But they're different dogs. And I love both of them. Um, so I'm excited to have my own dog. And just see how the journey goes. I want to take him to do a lot of things. Uh, I want to travel with him, hike with him. I love being outside and he's a very active dog because he is a German Shepherd Siberian Husky mix. So he's going to have a lot of energy. I'm talking about you. I'm very excited and I know it was a really good decision. Here he is sitting over here. Looking all cute. Even with his cone on. Can I have a kiss? Thank you. He's a pretty boy. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> He's so cute. I can't. Oh, pretty boy. Even with your cone. Mm -hmm. oh. I was just out here cleaning my porch off. So I've got like a little patio. I'll show you out just like out the window, but got a little patio that I don't really use. If you can see, um, just because I don't have a very pretty view. So I usually don't go out there, but I'm going to get some little like artificial grass and put it out there for him and just make it cozy. So when I'm working inside during the day, I can just kind of open the door and let him go sit outside and be comfortable not have to sit on concrete. Um, so I'm gonna get working on that little area for him because he likes watching outside. He can't go in walks or anything yet. Asher also got a dog uh, this past week and he's a puppy, he's three months old. Um, and they have not met yet uh, because of his cone and his incision. He can't really play rough yet. So I will be interested to see when they meet. Um, when Houston gets to meet Buddy, I should insert some little like clips of uh, Ashley getting his dog because it was fun. Me and him went looking together, so when he found Buddy, I went with him, and when I found Houston, Asher went with me, so it was fun. And now we're trying to get Ian to get a dog. Uh, <laughs> he found a puppy he likes at the place I got Houston at, but he's like, oh, I want her, but like, I can't. I want her, but I can't. I'm like, why? Why can't you? We all work at home. Um, he's just like scared that it's like an impulsive decision. So he won't pull the trigger yet, but he might. We will see. I'm a huge dog person, if you can't tell. And I know this vlog was literally all over the place. Uh, that, that's like I said, just how this past week has gone. Um, so yeah, I know it's been all over the place, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry I missed last week. Just this, the past week and week or so has just felt really crazy. So YouTube just kind of slipped my mind, honestly. But I feel a lot better after taking this past weekend away from social media and technology and going hiking. That was really nice and my soul really needed it.